and children of all ages, we are here with another edition of Snack Reason. Once again, another what the hell edition of what the hell flavor is Oreo come up with next? I'm Brandon from the SAS Snack Appreciation Society, and that's the Heal Will Mahoney. Snack Time Pally, and I think we this might be the night the line was crossed. I think the sh shark was jumped. Ah, yeah, something. Something. Because let, let's review real quick. We've had banana split. Fruit punch, lemon, the lemon uh, ones, watermelon, cookies and cream, cookies and cream, uh, marshmallow crispy, chocolate chip cookie, yep. cookie dough. It was cookie dough. That's right. And Reese's peanut butter cup. Yes. Pork chop. It keeps building. <laughs> no pork chop. <laughs> there hasn't been pork chop. There hasn't been fried chicken. Not yet. At this rate, there's gonna be cheeseburger. There'll probably be pizza. But tonight we're here. With limeade. Limeade, seriously, is there that much of a social outcry that there has to be a limeade effing Oreo? And it's not tied in with branding. This isn't um, um, Sonic. Sonic, no. It's not Sonic Oreo limeade. Yeah. It's just limeade. Limeade. It, are people really clamoring for limeade in the 40s? They were. Oreos. Where's limeade a thing? In the 40s. Okay. Stop, st stop the insanity. And Sonic. I mean, no one thinks limeade. No, when they think Oreos, watermelon was enough of a stretch. This is just, I don't want my Oreos to be Oreos. Chocolate, vanilla, don't waste my time. Yeah, I don't know what to think here. They look neon green on the package. I think that's the first question. Are they that neon green? Very 1991 green. <laughs> so yeah, some date, some, some uh, pepper color green. I got it oh, yes, they the are. first try. They're super green. Super green. Super green. And this ain't even some St. Patrick's Day tie-in or something. Take a look at the greenness. And I'll pop one open. There we go. Got a good shot of that cameraman, Alex. CM Alex. Yes, no, they are. They're quite visibly green. Of course a little bit of a pastel. They're on the golden Oreos. Uh, rather than chocolate. Uh, I think they would actually look cooler if they were on the chocolate ones, the kind of green and black thing yeah. going on. That would look neat. I think the, but the I summertime. Think, I, would, I would imagine the limeade's probably going to work better with the vanilla cookie. Probably true. But it, I don't know what to expect here. They smell like Oreos. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's what all the Oreos smell like. They don't generally smell much different. Yeah, no, it's the taste. Yeah. I mean, ever since they pulled off banana split, I figure they can pretty much pull off whatever flavor mm -hmm. there is. So... But does it need to be an Oreo? Exactly. Do they really need to go there? Let, let's have our taste here and see what's up with this whole limeade deal. So there's a, there's a sour? Or there's just a bad? It's lime. Mm -hmm. It's lime. It reminds me of one of those popsicles a little bit that have the, the cream on the inside. The creamsicles. Mm. Yeah. Well, it even has a creamsicle. It even popsicle. It even has a citrusy tang to it. You yeah. even managed to nail that. Yeah. I mean, there's no denying it is lime. It 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 is what it is. But damn it, I don't really have an interest in a limeade Oreo. I don't either. This product don't need to exist. No. It's not terrible. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. It tastes okay. It, it tastes like lime. Mm -hmm. I guess you can compare it to like a key lime pie kind of thing. Kind of. It it doesn't have that. But the key lime has a bit of lemony taste to it too. This is, is there's lime and, and supposed to be, I mean, it is limeade. If you're in the limeade, I guess maybe you would think these are the bomb. But why are you in the limeade and why do you want them in your Oreos? I don't <laughs> understand. It doesn't compute. No, it does not compute. Uh, in terms of a flavor, I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, I'll give it a five eighths of a thumbs up because I'll eat these cookies. They're good, but it's. Yeah, I can't see eating a lot of them. It's the dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to quote Manu Patel, why are you being the dumb Nabisco? There you go. That's the question I pose to you. Why, why are you being the dumb? Um, yeah, they're, they are limey. They do taste all right. I mean, there's, I just don't want Oreos to be this, but for what they are, I guess I'd have to give them a good, I'll go on the positive side for them. So maybe you went five eights. I, I'll I'll even go higher than that. I'll give them three quarters because they are. I mean, they are what they say they are. I just don't like the idea of Oreos being limeade. But probably if, if you're someone who's got a hankering for limeade, you might be really, really into these and think these are the best things ever. I need to get those. Yeah. So I don't know. 
or I don't just sell a ton of them, but Nabisco, I don't know, I mean, what's next? Is it hamburger, hamburger pizza, pizza, Oreos, waffle, borscht, borscht. <laughs> beef borscht. stew, beef stew, Oreos. Skeddy sauce, Skeddy Oreos, Skeddy Oreos, without a doubt. There you go. All right, so <laughs> on them. that note, you need to join the <laughs> SAS on Facebook to uh, find out more about the Skeddy. Skeddy. And also uh, follow us on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS, at Hewell Mahoney, at a brick in the SAS, at uh, Count Duckula 21. That's me. Mm -hmm. And uh, follow the hashtag. Hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. Send a message to Nabisco and be like, what is the wacky tobacco you're smoking? That's right. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel. In the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oreos. Got some bad news.